Hello, Libra. Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to be starting with the angel answer cards. This card will answer whatever question you have at the end. Oh, boy. Or will become a part of the reading, sometimes both. So, oh boy, that's, that's, oh, that's a lot of cards. Libra, I got three. Ah, because I took them all, I to take them all. There must be a reason, right? I'm going to start the reading now with your Romance Angel card. <laughs> Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. <laughs> I giggle through this, Libra, because as you know, Libra is in my chart. And when I see this, this is, uh, you know, I can relate to, you know, the person who... You might find attractive, but at the same time, they can be frustrating and annoying, but you seem to have an affinity for them. <laughs> That's what this is making me think of, Libra. So I guess if the person walks in and, you know, and you're, you know, usually you like, you know, I don't know, blonde haired people and suddenly some dark haired person walks in and Libra, you're like, eh, give him a chance. Talk to them. I guess to me, this just says, don't, don't arbitrarily cut anybody out because it, to me, this is saying, this is just not going to be your normal expectation. <laughs> the devil could mean that you are dealing with uh, Capricorn, sorry. Or this actually to me could mean, I'm thinking this is also that maybe you have been a victim of your own limitations. Like you only choose certain types. Like say, you know, you're five foot five and you want somebody who's six foot. But the person who approaches you is like five foot three and you're like, ugh. but maybe you're missing out and you're just going to sit there pretty and all by yourself lonely. And eventually everybody just kind of walks away. And it's, it's so funny because these look like little tiny skeletons. And I was talking about somebody being too short for you. So <laughs> sorry to laugh. Libra, if there's somebody you've met and they're shorter than your usual, this to me is saying keep an open mind. And that's so funny when I say that because you got the judgment card. And this is, you know, things changing. Um, and, <laughs> and, and because this judgment card shows marriage, you know, usually it's the two people standing up and the trumpets blowing and things are changing. And I just feel the need to look this up because judgment card to me is one of those weird little cards that <laughs> make me giggle because it makes me think of marriage really let's see judgment comes after the sun and before the world the world is the last of the uh the cards in the major arcana ruled by pluto the god of the underworld it's uh, about the trumpet singing, and this, it's a saxo saxophone. It represents the completion of life's circle. Oh, that's the world. I'm reading the wrong one. Ha! Ah! Sorry. The, trump the judgment card is the angel, sounds a trumpet, suggestive of final judgment. This is a card of transformation. A fresh start is possible. It's time to forgive and forget, or perhaps do some soul searching. A promotion may be in the works. So this is... Like what I was talking about, it is a fresh start. It's things changing. So instead of, you know, only wanting one type of person, you release yourself from this thought that you have to. You keep an open mind and you may actually meet the person you're meant to be with because this is this is a, a bride and a groom. Um, and I wanted <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. This uh, could be an earth sign. Someone who is uh, makes a plan, keeps their word, and is steady. You know, you can count on them. That's uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, 
So this change will come about. You could also be dealing with an, oh, whoa. Huh. You got the queen of swords also. This person could be a widow or a widower. This one, they seem aloof. They don't seem like they're actually interested in you, Libra, but they are. So, and they may be, um, now, interestingly enough, what I'm thinking is the queen of swords could be an air sign, but because the sword is uh, thoughts, I kind of want to say it could be, I'm leaning towards Virgo, because Virgo is also mercurially ruled. And I don't know why, but that's what came to mind. So you could be dealing uh, Libra with a Virgo who can be rather aloof, doesn't always seem very warm. But there's lots of messages going back and forth. There's some, there's uh, possibly lots of texting. So this person that you should keep an open mind about that's different than your normal type Maybe you don't necessarily like people who are not warm and fuzzy, but this person, they're into you. There's, this is like, I want to say sexting, sorry. <laughs> or some, you know, kind of innuendo uh, speak going back and forth in text. And the world card. This is coming out as a new person. And I would say the new person would be you being more accepting of a relationship with someone who is not necessarily your normal type. Now, keep in mind, there's a, a lion and a bull, so it could be Leo and Taurus on here also. So, but this to me is you, the, the suggestion is to keep an open mind because the person who, next person who's coming in for you is not going to be your normal type. And you may miss out on a relationship that could lead to marriage, in my eyes, with someone who is just not your normal type. Maybe they seem slow or they seem, you know, just not your normal type. But when you get to know them, there is passion. And it can lead to some really nice changes because the world is, you know... Hello world. It's a wonderful thing. So let's see here. Libra. What were your questions? We got three answers. So you got three questions. Do you have your three questions? Forgiveness. Abundance. And take action. Interesting cards, because when you look at these, forgiveness, do you have some bad habits, maybe judging people too much, too harshly, which is limiting your options. And that's why this is saying, keep an open mind. Don't judge people. Don't, you know, don't be like that. And so the forgiveness, the forgiveness could also come in with the devil card. You could have addictions or issues on things that you have to deal with. And to move on, you need to forgive to move on. Now, interestingly enough, with the Abundance card, I am drawn to the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone, they get the job done, and they usually are very stable money-wise. Abundance, lots of messages, and action. Talking, that's taking action. So, Libra looks really good. <laughs> Just... Keep an open mind, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, and share, and, well, have a wonderful week. Bye.